Being overpowered is good, but showing it off every time can be boring. Instead, what if you let the bad guys surround you and then show them who's boss? Today, we're going to speak of 10 anime where the main character is overpowered, but he hides it. Get ready, these guys may not have the looks, but you have to put them in a fight to see their true colors. The Alzano Empire is home to one of the most distinguished magical schools in the world, the Alzano Imperial Magic Academy. Here, ambitious young students undergo training to become competent magicians. But this time, the story isn't about the students, it's about the sensei who arrives at the academy to teach them. This magical professor seems to have more power than any of his students, and even though he has third-rate magic, he clearly seems to belong to the overpowered group. He has a well-known knowledge about magic and its effects as well as spells. He also has the power of pain tolerance, where he can survive multiple wounds and attacks without losing the motivation to fight. Thunder Sprites, shock! In other words, this is a twisted heroic fantasy featuring a magic teacher who excels in magic. First, Chrome Shelled Regios may look like a combination of Attack on Titan and Decadence, but its real beauty comes in afterwards. In this world, the Earth is dominated by a species known as Fifth Monsters. Humanity lives in moving cities, and Lathan Al Sif is a boy trying to find new life inside these cities. But the past isn't that easy to erase. Along comes the cunning student council president, Carrion Loss, who plans to use Lathan's powers for her own advantage. Now Lathan no longer has the liberty of running away while hiding his powers. Chrome Shelled Regios is a combination of action, fantasy, and adventure. And if you like the main character looking weak trope, then you'll definitely love this. Japan isn't the only country that produces anime with overpowered main characters. To make a change, Daily Life of a Mortal King is a Chinese anime that brings the overpowered trope to the table. Here we have Wang Ling, a cultivation genius who has achieved a new realm every two years since he was a year old. But every overpowered guy has their troublesome phase. Now he needs to attend senior high school where more troubles await him. All Wang wants is to keep his head low and face fewer challenges. But soon, his desired lifestyle gets changed as he meets more and more challenges. When it comes to the cultivation niche, the daily life of Immortal King excels in the genre, while also giving us an overpowered main character. Let's move along the Chinese anime route and check another Chinese anime, The King's Avatar. This follows the story of Yi Zhi, a professional esports player living in Hangzhou, China. In The King's Avatar, the main character is already a popular esports player, but once the team decides to use him for underhand marketing purposes, he decides to leave for good. Now working as a clerk, he meets one of his fans and with his encouragement, starts building up his character once again. For the outside, he may look like a normal esports player, but put him inside a game and and give him a weapon for the true demon to come out. You can never win a gaming match with him around. <laughs> Sometimes overpowered characters don't always exist in action and fantasy anime. To prove the point, we have the anime of Sakamoto. Who is Sakamoto? <laughs> その生徒の名は… 
He is the smartest and most intelligent student in the class, who somehow survives all the pranks pulled by his friends. He may look like a nerdy boy with glasses, but he always stands out because of his quick thinking, smart moves, and his rather cunning persona. Haven't you heard? I'm Sakamoto is not an action anime. It's a rather lighthearted comedy anime that gives you laughs from time to time. Even though you may not find Sakamoto punching a lot, it'll still be fun to see how he manages to gawk the prankster's mouths with his skills. Let's move along the high school setting, but this time to something more supernatural. The story starts when Akihito Kanbara saves his fellow schoolmate, Mirai Kuriyama, from committing suicide. But after he is accidentally stabbed, Mirai learns that Akihito is actually half human and half Yomu. Now she is dragged into a world of humans and monsters as she struggles to overcome her own personal life problems while also trying to protect herself from the monsters hunting her. Akihito, on the other hand, isn't your average high schooler either. He may look like a background character, but having the blood of a monster, he is more powerful than normal humans. And picking a fight with him is the last thing you should do. When someone has a $60 billion bounty on their head, you should know that they are not the innocent type. But Vash from Trigun can deceive you. Many tell Vash is a walking nuclear weapon that can destroy anyone or anything he wants. But in truth, he's just a cool guy who slacks off, makes jokes, and cares about his friends. But every man has a dark past. When assassins are sent to kill Vash, this past is slowly revealed, and Vash will have to make some heart-wrenching moral choices. Those eyes. It's like looking in the eyes of the Diablo. <laughs> This is one of those hidden gems you definitely must watch. It has this cowboy B-pop feel, plus an interesting and badass main character. So, if you watch the first episode, you'll definitely get addicted to it. Not you. Not Kushida. Not Hirata. People are nothing but tools to me. All of them. I don't care what I have to do to win. If you think high school anime is too cliche, then you obviously haven't watched Classroom with the Elite. It happens in the future, where the Japanese government has established the Tokyo Metropolitan Advanced Nurturing School, where students are taught in a more carefree manner in order to foster a generation of people that can support the country in the future. We follow Ayano Koji, an introvert and a rather silent boy, who doesn't want to make any friends and mind his own business. But he meets a girl named Horikita, and the events around him force him to help his class overcome the obstacles the school presents to them. But I don't get it. You claim to have no interest in ascending to Class A. So why did you help me? I can't figure out what motivates you. Kiyotaka can seem like a silent boy who knows nothing, but you never know what's running in his head. Not all power should be devoted to fighting battles. Here we have Saiki, who's an average high schooler who needs to live alone and mind his own business. But his friends and parents won't allow that to happen. In the very first episode itself, it's shown that Saiki has the powers to match a god and can literally destroy anything with a snap of his fingers. But he disguises these powers by appearing as a regular high school boy. But when the situation calls for it, he doesn't hesitate to use his power or blow up things if the situation is too troublesome for him. Similar to Sakamoto, this is a comedy anime, and it has three seasons as well. So get some popcorn and enjoy Psyche blasting things off. In our top pick, we have an anime with a god as the main character. This god may look dumb at times, but he's overpowered as hell, even if it means the god doesn't have his own shrine. The story begins when Hiroi Iki learns that her soul leaves her body after an accident. Here she discovers the existence of parallel worlds named the Near Shore and Far Shore, where human souls and demons reside. Now she teams up with a god named Yato, who is a nameless god without his own shrine. They are also joined by Yukine, a boy who can transform into a weapon 
and the anime follows the trio's adventures. Noragami is a fun comedy supernatural anime that also has its rather emotional and dark moments as well. So there you go. Those are our picks for the top 10 anime where the main character is overpowered, but he hides it just for the sake of the plot. If you feel like we missed one of your favorite shows, don't hesitate to mention it down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and show me your support. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't joined us and want to see more awesome content like this. With all that said, I'll see you in the next video, anime fans. Goodbye.